just said, hey guys, like, let's just Frankenstein a movie together. Like, let's go just do something. Let's write it quick. Let's, you know, book the locations we want to film and just go do something. Everyone jumped on board, so I don't know why, but they did. The thing that I loved most about making this movie was the kind of community feel of it. Because we had six days to shoot an hour and a half movie. When we first had this idea, we were wanting to keep it more, you know, smaller and contained and just a real low budget sort of project. By low budget, she means like five people. But then our DP, Nathan, he works at Panavision and was able to provide a lot of these cool things and cool tools to use. So, you know, how do you pass that up? When you're working all night and sleeping all day and that's, you know, that sort of intensity is just what you're experiencing for, you know, a week straight, it's going to stretch everybody. And I, I mean, I remember <laughs> pretty much after that week, there were a lot of people were, you know, kind of taking a few weeks to kind of recover afterwards just because it's, it's emotionally draining, it's, uh, you know, physically draining. The time crunch was very uh, interesting. It was a little bit of a challenge, especially with uh, the amount that we were shooting, the scenes and the dialogue, and uh, there's always like, you know, thoughts that come up like, did I have enough time to prepare for this? And, you know, is this right? There's always like the, am I doing it right kind of thing when there really is no right or wrong. I feel like shooting in that time frame wasn't bad because you're just in it constantly throughout that time. I felt like we did as much pre-production as we could. I think that was the key to our success because once we got in there we didn't really have much wiggle room to play with things. Special effects was a, was a huge thing that we had to just a lot time for and we were constantly racing against the clock and I remember the very last big gore moment of the film. I was literally carrying a canister of blood and running behind the special effects guy as the sun is coming up over the hills. We were able to get to get the shot off Ben and I actually were able to hit the uh, the, the blood pumps on, on both of them so we're the ones that are causing that it's, arterial. It's a garden cultivator that yeah. they take across the guy's throat, right? And Matt's like, isn't that thing still really sharp? And Greg just takes it on the driveway and just goes <laughs> and dulls it. And tries quickly. to dull it down as much as he can. And Nathan's like, guys, we literally have like five minutes to get this shot. We just rolled it and we had one take. And it was just like literally racing until the sun came mm -hmm. up. And I think like two minutes after we got the shot, the sun yeah, like, the sun is up. Hills. It was, it was yeah, crazy. It was it was a crazy race against time. You know, you're just sort of making a fun B slasher movie, and I think we accomplished that. It couldn't have gone by uh, quicker. The six days, it was amazing. It felt like I had made all these new friends, and we were working on something that we were all passionate about. It was so much fun. If we were gonna do still making me do it, I'd be like, where do I sign?